we wanted to come together and show our support for the black community. Um, not just the show of support though, we want to be the change. Um, so we want to support and reflect and make changes in our own behavior and our own biases and make change in our state. What happened is um, there was a flyer from actually from Emory at University, they were doing it in Atlanta. That's where I trained and I saw all my friends doing it. And then Dr. Heron said, hey, you guys, why don't we do what they're doing in Atlanta? And I was like, oh, yeah, we should be doing it. And I, I said, let's do it at the Capitol. And then Dr. Heron just went into um, making sure she helped organize everything with Dr. Savannah Stump, who chose not to get on the mic today, and Dr. Angela Hawkins. And so we just kind of came together to help plan it. Too many times, one more injustice happens in a long list of injustices. And you hear with riots and everything else that's going on, why is the black community so angry? What we really should be asking is why are we not all angry at these yeah. things that are going on? Oh, I was very surprised, uh, to be honest with you. I know it's lunch break for many, and because we're just post-COVID, a lot of clinics are really full. So I'm very grateful that we had people of all ethnicities here, and I hope that we're able to really spark people to stand up and make a little bit of change. It isn't just about Lloyd, Ahmad, Brianna, Trayvon, Sandra, you name it, we keep going. This has been burning us since Emmett Till, and we want people to finally stand on our side and stand up for what is truly justice. So when we say Black Lives Matter, it is important that we acknowledge it. No, all lives matter is not the slogan today. We know all lives matter. Yes. But black lives, if, if black lives don't matter to you, then all lives will never matter. And that's our whole point. I think the powers that be would like you to believe that police brutality is a political issue, and it's not. Police brutality is something that can affect all of us. And so whenever you have a subgroup, which of course right now will be African Americans who are dealing with that, we need all of Americans to stand up because all of our rights are valid. Um, it's, and it's absolutely necessary that we take a stance on this issue. I think that we have some very powerful voices within the medical community, and we see that here today. Um, and it just goes back to that sense of camaraderie that I was talking about, which is that this is truly a human rights issue. And that means all of us, no matter what our occupations are or where we are in our lives, we have to care about this issue. So I am so happy and honored that this community, being the medical community, has joined with us to say that Black Lives Matter because Black Lives do matter.